Yo, what's going on guys? It is time for another reaction video. And I have my friend here, Morgan Brannon. This Hello. is uh, not her first time on the channel. If you've been on my uh, YouTube channel for a while now, then you might remember Morgan from some of the Harry Mack reactions and way back to like two, three years ago, we did some reactions to some random stuff. I think like some chick trying different foods in Australia or something. Oh yeah, that's, that's stuck with me. <laughs> and uh, Morgan has, uh, she's been part of Ghost Texas as well. So yeah, um, but I brought her back today and you probably already picked it up by the title of the video to introduce her to Ren. So as usual, she doesn't know anything about Ren. All I did was tell her it was a, a one take uh, from start to finish. Uh, I told her it was a performance piece and that's literally all she knows. I, I have absolutely no idea what to expect. I have no idea about anything other than that. Yeah, so you know the drill. You got a keyboard over there, pause as needed. Um, the song is titled Hi Ren. The artist's name is Ren. Okay. All right, you ready to get into it? <clears throat> I'm ready. All right, here we go. Audio good for you? Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Bren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? You've been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10-step program. Rejoice, all your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great. And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk, man Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one Split in two, that makes one, so you see You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics or stats. I never write hooks for the radio, they never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connecting, and the people who find it respect it. And for me, that's enough, because this life's been tough, so it gives me a purpose I can rest in. Man, you sound so pretentious. Ran, your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself. Trust me. You should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that, I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong, when I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with the subconscious, Eminem did it Played on guitar, Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal rip off artist The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's Material. Ren, mate, we've heard it all before. Oh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Cause I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. 
And I will be great And I will make waves And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us That's right, speak your truth Your fucking god complex leaks out of you It's refreshing to ask for you Say it instead of downplay it uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren Well, fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside <sighs> Newsflash I was created at the dawn of creation I am temptation I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings. I am sin with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of ends. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. I'm finding it really hard to stop this. <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's, like, that's, I know <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing reactions and but giving it's okay. my input, but it's so good. It pulls you in, right? Oh, it does. And there's so many layers to this. I, this whole time I've been thinking like, oh my God, where are the sticky notes? Where are the post-it notes? Uh, right you there. usually have some. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I need a pen. <laughs> because there's so many layers to this. And it's so relatable in so many different ways. It's like an onion, but in a song. Yeah, you keep peeling back the layers, right? Yeah, there's there's so many. And I've been trying to find a good place to stop. I saw you like, a couple no. times. I like watch your hand I'm like, and I'm like oh. watching your expression. But like, yeah, I didn't want to so stop it for you. Good. I wanted you to, to stop it when you want to yeah. stop it. No, and I didn't even want to stop it here. But then I'm like, no, I'm supposed to be doing a reaction. I mean, I need to stop it at some point. In reality, <laughs> if it went all the way to the end and you held it to the end, that would be perfectly fine, too. I found for me personally, if I try to hold on my thoughts to the end, I won't always necessarily remember them all. So sometimes there you go. It's a, it's a post-it. Yeah. A post-it note. Okay. So what you've seen so far up to this point, anything specific you want to call out or mention since we are on a pause break? Oh my God. The, the struggle that I think every person has within themselves mm -hmm. to go and do something great. It's like you always have that voice in your head that's telling you different, that's holding you back, that's always tearing you down. I mean, I'm, I've always been very upfront with um, depression and mm -hmm. I've always dealt with that, always, even as a child. I'm talking like under 10. And these are the thoughts that not only plague people with depression, but normal people. Yep. And there's such a struggle in just everyday life of taking that step forward, doing something great. And then you always have that voice that's just right there in the back of your mind telling you, no, you can't do it. You can't do it. Somebody else has already done it. You're not going to make any difference. So to watch this and for him to show it in a way where it's still him. Mm-hmm. But he has such a light side and such a dark side and him playing out this inner argument that's happening is just I'm in awe over it right now. I, I so I've been wanting you to come do this one for a while, but I know that you had a lot of stuff going on. Right. I did. <laughs> and so, like, I also didn't want you to see it at the wrong time because of the things that you've been dealing with. And so. Uh, but I knew that you were going to connect with this song. Like, I absolutely knew. That oh, you were as, as I've been it. watching, I've been thinking like, oh, my God, this is, <laughs> this is great. This is perfect. And I'm going to share this with so many people. <laughs> the, the thing with this song, and I know we still got a little ways to go, but the first time I saw it, I had no clue what to expect because somebody suggested it to me in a Harry Mack reaction comment. Really? And so when I saw this and sat down, I was thinking, oh, it's going to be a rapper. When he does kind of do rap, right? But I didn't, I hadn't. I went into it as blindly as I led you into it, and I wanted it, you to be led into it blindly because I didn't want it to. Oh, I'm glad you did. I didn't want to 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 have you thinking a certain way, right? I didn't want to influence your thoughts on on it. I wanted you to just come into it blind, and like I remember, um, as always, I do a lot of videos back to back to back when I film, 
And when I got to the end of the song, I actually took a break. I took a break for a little while before I came back and started recording again. Uh -huh. And then over like the next week, I kept thinking of the lyrics and different parts of the song over and over. Oh, in my yeah. Head. This is something I'm going to go home to and go home to go home with. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a person that if I listen to a song, I need to read the lyrics at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I do that a couple of times. And then I think all being able to read the lyrics and just sit back and see all these different layers because there are so many real quickly i'll check but i'm pretty sure he puts the lyrics in the video description um but unfortunately we can't uh fit oh. all that on the screen but yeah so let me go see. down it's in the comment section go down here are the lyrics for anyone who wants them thank you so much for watching this yep so um yeah so this is just we're about He's halfway so through this song. Good. So, well, He's so good. <laughs> if you feel like you need to pause again, don't hesitate. Just pause and then we can always, and I'm going to do it right now, roll it back five seconds before we start it again. Okay. <laughs> and then um, so we can figure out where we left off at. Actually, I'm going to roll it back 10 seconds just so you can kind of hear the last bit of what he was mm -hmm. saying since we took a long break on this. But yeah, pause if you need to, or you can take your notes, whatever is better for you. I'm going to take notes. <laughs> I just fearful of you taking notes and looking down and missing something. But Oh, yeah. No, I can't. I'll, whatever. I, know, I know where the paper is and I know where the pen is. <laughs> I don't need to write in a straight line. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start it back up when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. All right, let's go. You are me, I am you, friend. some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill but just as sure as the tide starts turning just as sure as the night has dawn just as sure as the rain falls soon one is dry when you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet and you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east And I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear When you loosen the noose on the rope I just got the chills <laughs> And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch or shake so cower at the man I've become When I sing from the top of my lungs That I won't retire I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a to different sides I was 17 years old. I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. 
It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older, and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften, and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human beings. God damn, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm so happy you showed me this. Oh, it's so good. There was something I... I saw you making some notes. <laughs> dude, yeah, and it's like, it's all over the place. <laughs> I even had to like turn on the back. There's, um. oh my God, dude, his voice is amazing it's yeah. amazing and he makes you feel what he's feeling yep it, it, it's it's not just a song it's like a full performance even when he goes back and forth from one to the other it's the body language the express you know expression mm -hmm. in his face it's everything yes and um it reminded me of um a bible verse there, he, he makes um, uh, religious and biblical references here and there, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it reminded me of Ephesians 6.12. Okay. And it's, for our fight is not against flesh and blood, but against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. There's a part of the song where he... Um, says he rides at the east and set at the west at the bottom of the ocean floor i think that's yes. the part so somebody's commented on that before and because i've done a few of these with people now and as well as my own and they they quoted it from somewhere and they made reference that it was something um, biblical but i haven't taken the time myself to to look that up to research it and stuff. Yeah. yeah no i'm all all of this i'm flabbergasted by everything i mean from his setup to, I mean, the lights, the way um, he he chose to illustrate chaos with the flickering, it, with the flickering in such in such a very simple way. But mm -hmm. I feel like it really does show the struggle between light and dark mm -hmm. within such a simple place. Um, you would think that your own thoughts and your own soul and your own actions would be a simple thing um, because it's you. It's a part of you when really even in such a simple place that you have so much control over, there is so much chaos. And I love the way uh, he tied in the self-acceptance at the end, that when you accept those flaws and you quit fighting against them, things can become a whole lot easier. This is all beautiful. I'm, I'm like, my soul is melting because I'm like, oh my God, it's pure poetry. <laughs> and there's so many, I want to know how long it took him to write this. That I don't know the answer to. Like, that's like, so there, as we go down this rabbit hole today. Oh, which, um, I'm so happy. The first thing I asked you guys, you know, I know some of the ones that y'all have seen me do where I've got like a series of these videos back to back with a guest. Sometimes I feel rushed because we're on a time frame. The first thing I asked Morgan when she got here is like, what's your time frame look like today? None. I'm the <laughs> one special today. So, uh, so I have nowhere to go, nowhere to be and no one to see. I've, I've set her up with a pretty pretty long list we'll see if we get through the whole thing it's lengthy but i think once she starts to see uh, oh, more excited. of ren i yeah, think I'm she's excited. gonna she's gonna be happy to go down this this rabbit hole with me so and he's cute <laughs> he cute um so do you want to know a little bit about ren now that you've seen this yes i okay. want to know everything about him i think i don't know everything he, but well, i know no. a decent amount and uh so i'll share with you what i do know so far okay um, cause I've been doing these for probably about two months now on Ren. Mm -hmm. Um, 
where he says, you know, at the age of 17, uh, he shot out into an empty space uh, that he would uh, fight the demons and what have you, right? Yep. So I, I think even prior to that, from an early on age, uh, they, him and his family, his parents, I guess, they knew he, he had some illnesses, some uh, immunity, some autoimmune illnesses. And what happened is he kept being misdiagnosed over and over. And so in those misdiagnoses, he was uh, getting prescribed probably the wrong medications and dealing with a lot emotionally, physically, you know, maybe you start to lose your mind a little bit. Right. And yeah. so um, fast forward, though, eventually they did get him diagnosed properly and he has uh, Lyme disease. OK. And so he uh, has I, I don't know how Lyme disease works. I'm not going to pretend to know. But some of the comments have let uh, people have told me that, like, he's he's officially conquered the Lyme disease, but I don't know if it's a permanent disease. I don't know if it's something you live with forever or if it's something that you I, can Yeah, eradicate. I thought that that was something that yeah, but they said don't that, cure. Yeah, and it may not be, so I could be misspoken on that, but what they he did mention... He could be in, like, remission from it. Yeah, so it took a toll on his body, and he, and he has a lot of after effects of the disease. So he's currently in Canada seeking treatment, has been for a while now. Uh, he came back just recently to the U.K., to work on his his music and his videos for about three four weeks or so, I believe, and then he's gone back to Canada again. So, um, so the whole lyrics, a lot of it is about psychosis and the the, the inner um, conflict, right? But it also is very much driven from his immunity uh, issues as well. Yeah, which and I can understand that. Um, I've I don't think I've mentioned it on. Uh, any of the other videos that we've done, but I have psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. Yeah. Um, it doesn't sound like a big deal. Oh, oh, your skin rashes. Like, no, it can be a big deal. And, um, especially if you have a flare up. Yeah. A, a flare up, uh, whether that be on your skin or in your joints. Uh, recently there have been some studies that show that, um, psoriasis causes arteries to harden. Uh, so there's lots of heart issues. Uh, nobody really has been doing any research on it um but going through the trial and error of medications one right after the other knowing that oh god this may not work i might wake up tomorrow and my scalp be so bloody i'm stuck to the pillow again and oh there's hope it might actually work this time and i might be able to walk tomorrow because my joints will finally be calmed yeah um and just like you i i don't know a lot about lyme disease um, yeah because honestly, I've been so up the butt of my own. Yeah, um, with your own issues. Yeah, so I haven't I haven't ventured any of the similarities or differences between the two, if there are any. I'm not claiming. I wasn't really know. much aware of about Lyme disease until a few years ago when they uh, had finally come out that that was why Avril Lavigne disappeared for a while yeah. because she also has Lyme disease. Yep, yep. Um, but I mean. There's there's a lot that goes into illnesses. I think we can all agree with that. Yep. Um, and even more when there aren't any treatment plans that are set forth, you know, for somebody who's just discovering that they have a disease. Um, so I could imagine. I I know, I not even imagine. I know that struggle that he's going through, or that he went through, and that frustration of. I just want to be okay. Yeah. Just physically. We'll deal with the mental stuff later. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. But right now, just physically okay. You know, I'm going to see real quick if we can find this because I talked about it recently. He did a short that shows a day in the life of him and all the medications. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> um, oh, that pig face was This one. Scary. Let's watch this one real quick. This is what a day looks like having brain damage and autoimmune conditions. I wake up, I take an obscene amount of pills and medication. Mmm, yeah. pills. I've gotten pretty good at swallowing them all in one go. I get an Anuba, I go to the clinic, I get various medicines and vitamins delivered straight to my veins whilst reading sci-fi books. Then I've got to wear this weird space sci-fi swimming cap to help me create new neural pathways in my brain. Kind of makes me feel a little bit like that scene from Clockwork Orange. Get more medicine right in my veins whilst looking bloody handsome. Then I get an Uber back home. I have yes. to eat a restricted low histamine paleo diet. So this is what 99% of my food looks like. So all right, it's not bad. I watch Peep Show because it's class. <laughs> I watch cookery programs because I'm secretly an 80-year-old woman. I inhale hydrogen gas. Same. 
That's because it helps reduce inflammation in my body. Then I take some more pills. Mmm, pills. Then I practice guitar and I write songs about how interesting and sensitive and deep I am. And then I make some <laughs> hardcore gangster rap hip hop beats. Fuck me, I'm so white. Then I clean my teeth and I go to bed. This is what a day looks like having brain damage. But you're killing it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. So you ready to continue down the Rin rabbit hole? I am. Dude, I'm so pumped over this. All right. Well, guys, if you're uh, new to my channel and you're seeing this video right when it released, uh, what I do is I will do several Rin big push uh, reaction videos back to back. And then I'll release them in order uh, one after the, another. So as soon as this video ends, the next one will be releasing immediately on YouTube. If you are watching this far into the future, then all of them are already available and they're already in order. So you can just go watch all of these back to back. I don't know how many for sure we're going to get through today, but I do have a pretty lengthy list. And I'm hoping all of them. if we can get through all of them, you're going to set the record, Morgan, because I have 19 songs lined up. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. I like this. So we're going to have a big marathon today if we make it through all 19. But uh, yeah, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Click the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Comment below if you want to uh, mention anything that we discussed. Um, but more than anything, I hope you stick around and continue to watch all these videos with us today. So we'll see you in the next one. Later. Bye.